What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all about some products that I feel like have really helped me and kind of saved me throughout winter thus far and will continue to do so throughout the duration of winter. Now, you probably know that I am Canadian. If you didn't, hi, I'm from the north way up there in Canada. And more specifically, I'm a Montrealer, so I feel like I kind of have a PhD in cold. So I'm pretty excited to be going through all these products with you guys today. Like I said, there's gonna be quite the variety. I've got makeup, I've got hair care, skin care, um, some clothing items, and just other random stuff. So I hope that you enjoy today's video. If you also experience winter where you're from, let me know in the comments what some of your must-haves are in the winter time. And of course, hit the thumbs up button, if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe, hit that button. I mean, you made it this far into the video, you kind of might as well, just saying. All right, without further ado, let's do it. So my makeup routine and the makeup products that I like to use in the winter time obviously change and shift like any other season, but there are always like a few key products that I kind of notice I always gravitate towards during this time of year because my skin, <laughs> My skin is so dry in the winter. It's kind of offensive. It hurts my feelings. Now I am personally outside very minimally in the winter time because it's so uncomfortable to be outside in the cold. So even when it's sunny outside, the sun doesn't even come close to my face. So the results of all of those factors really just creates dry, dull, and just lackluster looking skin. So the makeup products that I like to use help to kind of combat that, give me some life to my skin, give me some glow, um, and just make me look like I didn't stay inside um, for six months straight. So the first product that I wanna talk about is a cream blush from Nude Sticks. Now, cream products in general are definitely a texture that I gravitate towards more in the winter time just because I feel like it's so much more flattering on my skin, but this particular blush color from Nude Sticks is one that I very specifically specifically gravitate towards, especially in the winter time. This is the shade Sunset Strip. This color is the type of color that will make it look like your cheeks got a little bit of sun. It's kind of that perfect burnt coral shade. So it's a pretty bright color. Like when you apply it full on on the back of your hand, you may be a little bit intimidated by it, but I'm telling you this applies very sheerly and naturally to the cheeks, especially if you just kind of dot it and then blend it out with a duo fiber brush or your fingers or a sponge. So popping this on the cheeks and even brushing a little bit on like the bridge of your nose is going to give you that, oh, did I, did I just like stand outside just for a little bit too long. This color is literally paying rent in my vanity drawer right now. It is living in my vanity. I use it every single day. I love it. I also feel like this is a very flattering shade in general and will really complement a wide variety of skin tones. So overall, wonderful product. So the next makeup product that I want to talk about is not just one product, but it's kind of like a makeup category as a whole. Um, this is a product that I feel like is definitely a must if you want to add more glow to your skin, if you feel like your skin is looking really dull because of the dryness that you're experiencing or whatever the winter is doing to your skin. So that is a glow boosting type of product. Now do not get me wrong, a glow boosting product is very different from a highlighter. A highlighter is definitely a lot more intense a glow booster is a little bit more subtle. It's kind of meant to be used more so underneath your foundation on your entire face rather than pinpointed only on specific areas that you want to add that glow to. And because it does have that subtlety to it, when you apply your foundation on top of it, it's just going to make it look like you have glowy skin. It's going to give you that glow from within type of look that we all know and love and that's much needed Stay with me everybody in the winter time. Now I do have quite a few here that I wanted to recommend to you guys. I'm not gonna go into each one in depth, but I just wanted to recommend some different products from different brands just depending on your budget, what you're looking for, because each one also kind of gives a different effect, which I'll get into. So the first one, and probably my favorite one out of all of these, is definitely the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for Superstar youth glow. Now it does have a doe foot applicator, which is really nice, especially if you want to precisely apply this. I really like that because I don't actually like to apply this particular one all over my face because I feel like then it can get a little bit too intense. And I also want to mention that this does come in a couple different shades. This doesn't necessarily have to be like the perfect shade match for you because since you are going to be layering it underneath your foundation, it's not going to really matter too much. You just got to get close enough. 
that it works. Next up on this Glow Booster list of faves is this guy from Physicians Formula. It's the Spotlight Illuminating Primer. Really great, very similar to like the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, if you're familiar to that. This is a really, really great dupe. Um, this is definitely very different from the Charlotte Tilbury one. For one, it's not tinted. The Charlotte Tilbury one does have like actual color to it. This is pretty much translucent. It's another product that doesn't have any shimmer or sparkle, it's just pure, beautiful sheen. The texture is quite thin and I feel like it spreads out really nicely. It doesn't give an overwhelming effect to the skin. It's not like too much or too glowy. It kind of just gives the right amount for underneath the foundation. So this is a beautiful product. Also works really great for mixing in with your foundation as well. This is very new in my life, but I've been really enjoying it. This is the new NARS Tinted Glow Booster. Now, if you feel like the glow factor is a little bit too intense in these guys, the NARS one is really great. I feel like this is even great for people with oily skin because it will still give you that bit of extra like oomph to your skin, but it's not going to be overwhelming. Like I could apply this all over my face, no problem, not worry about looking you know oily or too greasy or anything like that it really just gives you that perfect level of glow so a little bit more subdued than the other two so for people who want something more natural looking but still a nice little glow this is a great one right. next one i absolutely love this is the by terry brightening cc serum and i have the shade sunny flash which i believe is the darkest shade i actually purposefully got a dark shade in this one because i wanted it not only to give me a glow but to also give me a little bit of bronziness i do also find this guy to be pretty hydrating as well so not only does it give that glow to your skin but it also hydrates so it's kind of a nice little two-in-one speaking of a bronzy glow the drunk elephant debronzy sunshine serum has been a longtime favorite of mine i use this all year round in the summer in the fall in the winter in the spring this is always in my collection now this actually isn't really a glowy product i don't really know why i included it in this category but i'm going to talk about it anyway so you can see when i put it on the back of my hand it's just this liquid bronzer but this is not a product that you would use on its own so you won't take this and you know apply it on your face like a bronzer instead this product is specifically meant to mix in with another product so whether that's a skincare item like your moisturizer or even like a serum or whether that's a makeup product like your foundation honestly you could even mix this in with any of the other products that i just mentioned to give them a little bit of like a bronzy boost so this is definitely a really versatile product i want to stress that this doesn't change your skin tone it won't like change the foundation shade that you need to apply but it will definitely make you look a little bit more sun-kissed all right let's exit that category and let's talk about foundation now I am the most picky when it comes to foundations in the winter time because I feel like when my skin is at this point it's kind of hard to find a foundation that's going to really flatter it so I'm very specific with what I'm looking for I need something that's very lightweight that's very hydrating and that's very thin in texture I really don't love very thick foundations on my dry flaky skin because I always find it just accentuates it and so while I do have some other foundations that will come in and out of my life and that I definitely use these two foundations specifically are foundations that I know will never do me dirty on a cold winter day and that is the YSL Touche Clat all-in-one glow and the milk makeup shun sign shun what is wrong with me today? The Sunshine Skin Tint. I think overall they're just very flattering foundations. On my skin right now I am wearing the Sunshine Skin Tint so you can see what it looks like. The Milk Makeup one is kind of interesting. It's in this push pen type format and you just pretty much draw on your face or dispense it on the back of your hand and apply it that way. It's a very thin serum-like formula. So because of that really thin consistency, because it's almost like a serum, it just is so hydrating. The YSL one does have more coverage. This is more like a tinted moisturizer-like coverage and this is more medium coverage. Concealer. Concealer is kind of the same deal as the foundation. Um, I want the same things out of a concealer. I want the concealer to look just flattering underneath my eyes to be really nice and hydrating as well. And that is the Elia True Skin Serum Concealer. I mean, the fact that this is called a serum concealer just tells you right away that this is going to be a very hydrating product. And it is. I just find this to be super, super, super flattering underneath the eyes. Even when my under eyes are at their worst, I feel like this still works beautifully and it covers really well like a concealer should. So it's fantastic. I'm not going to ramble on about it. It's just a really, really good one. So the last product in this category, which will kind of help me transition into the next category because this isn't really a makeup product, but it's something that I use specifically in my makeup routine. This is more of like a skincare product and that is the Used to the People Adaptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. Now, if you've been watching any of my videos, you're probably so sick of me talking about this because I rave and rave and rave about this, what feels like at least in every single video. And that's because this is such a life 
changing product for me. So I would say that this is a hybrid between a serum and a setting spray. It's a very hydrating spray. There is hyaluronic acid in here. And what makes this really cool is that of course you can apply it before you apply your makeup to kind of give your skin a boost of hydration, but you could also apply it after you apply your makeup and throughout the day if you feel like your skin is feeling a little bit cracked and dry or if you feel like your skin just needs a little bit of a boost you could spray this on your face and I swear it makes such a difference in the way that your skin looks it instantly gives your skin kind of like a hydrated look it's the most amazing thing and it doesn't disrupt your makeup it doesn't move your makeup that was my main concern because I thought since this was kind of like a skincare-esque product I didn't think it would fully mesh with my makeup products I thought it would kind of dissolve everything it does not at all. Even though this is kind of a big bottle, this would be such a great product just to throw in your bag and to whip out at any point in the day if you feel like your skin needs that extra boost of hydration. Okay, let's talk a little bit about skincare. I'm splitting this into two categories, one for the face, one for the body. Let's start with the face. Let's start off first with cleansers that I really love during the winter time. I always look for cleansers that are going to be hydrating that are really going to leave kind of a layer of moisture on my skin so i specifically really love oil cleansers because they do just that this is the sea buckthorn best skin ever cleanser moisturizer and that really describes this perfectly because this truly is a cleanser moisturizer so i actually really like to use this to take off my makeup because the oil really breaks down my makeup really well um and my skin feels so hydrated after washing my face with this that i don't even actually feel like i need to put a moisturizer on afterwards which is kind of the best. I've gone through at least four bottles of this and one bottle lasts me quite a long time because you really don't need a lot in order to kind of lather it up on your face. And it just is so effective and my skin really loves it. It like drinks it up and it doesn't like clog my pores. A lot of oil products tend to do that. I also really love that most, if not all the ingredients in here are natural, which is always a plus. And so if you are looking for something that's going to clean your face, take off your makeup and also kind of moisturize your face. I mean, I would still go with the moisturizer, but you don't really have to with this product. This is so, so, so good. The second cleanser that I really love to use is this Ren Evercom Gentle Cleansing Milk. This is so nice because it's so soothing. I have very sensitive skin and a lot of products tend to irritate it, especially because I am kind of taking my makeup on and off so much throughout the day. My skin freaks out from that. And this cleanser is so perfect because it really feels like it soothes your skin when you apply it. It's very, very, very gentle. So I love this. I'm actually almost out. Um, and I would definitely recommend this, especially if you have sensitive skin. Exfoliators, another really important type of product to have in your routine, especially during this time of year, just to get rid of all that dead skin on the face. I personally don't really love exfoliators that are super abrasive and really harsh. So my personal favorite exfoliator and has been for years, the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. So instead of rubbing really harsh and large um, particles all over your face, this is instead a really gentle exfoliating powders you pretty much just dump out a little bit of the powder onto your hand and it feels almost like sand but even softer than sand and then you add a little bit of water you mix it together to create kind of like a paste and you use that to exfoliate your skin and the particles are so 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 fine so it's not going to be super abrasive to your skin. It's not going to irritate your skin, especially if you're sensitive like I am, but it's definitely still very effective. And after I finish using this, my skin always feels really nice and smooth. The last product that I want to talk about specifically for the face is of course my Opera Oils Midnight Boost Hydrating Facial Oil. I mean, do I even really need to say much? I talk about the Opera Oils so much in my videos. You guys know I love them. This is always always the very last step in my skincare routine. After I'm done applying my moisturizer, I'll take a little bit of this, put it in my hands, do a nice little pat, pat, pat all over the face, and it just leaves a really nice hydrating layer all over the face. It makes such a difference, and there's something very kind of soothing and almost therapeutic about applying this. It smells just so good. It kind of smells like a spa, so it really is like my favorite part of my routine. But seriously, like especially when I apply this at night, I see the biggest difference in my skin the next day. It just feels so much more kind of plump. Okay, let's quickly talk about lips because chap lips are definitely a thing in the winter time. So I have two moisturizers that are my two go-tos. First one over here is definitely no surprise to you guys. This is the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask. This one in particular is in vanilla. You don't even know how many Laneige Lip Sleepy Masks I have in my house. <laughs> it's almost embarrassing. I just really like how thick the formula is. I feel like because it is a lip sleepy mask, it is on the thicker side. So I feel like it almost protects my lips a little bit more, especially when I wear it outside of the house. It will protect my lips from like the intense cold and uh, I just love it. So that's that. 
Another lip product that I love is the Lano Lips 101 Ointment. Similar to the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask, this is a product that is pretty thick, so when you apply it to your lips, I really feel like it actually protects them, and it just does a really good job of just adding a lot of hydration. And this is also a very versatile product. You don't only have to put it on your lips, you could also put it on like your cuticles or any other really dry areas on your body. It is an ointment, it's not just meant for the lips, so that's really nice as well, is that you do get some versatility out of this product. As for lip scrub. I've actually been really enjoying this one from Burst Bees. It's the conditioning lip scrub. I really like the texture of this. Um, I find that the particles in here are really nice and fine. So again, I feel like it just gets a lot of that dry skin off of the lips. I find some lip scrubs to be not scrubby enough and not moisturizing enough. This is kind of the perfect balance of both. And I think it's just a really good one. It's also from the drugstore, which is great. Okay, now moving from the face to the body, let's talk about a couple body products that I really love. So the first one is a product that I feel like a lot of people really responded quite heavily to because it's a problem that I feel like a lot of people deal with but don't really talk about that often, and that is uh, keratosis pilaris. I think that's what it's called. And that's when um, on the arms there's kind of like these little bumps and they tend to get really flared up, especially during colder months. I've dealt with it my entire life and I still deal with it. So I... I've always been looking for products to help it, to help kind of minimize it, to smooth out my arms because it's just like an annoying and kind of embarrassing thing to have on the arm area. So this is probably one of the first products that I've tried that actually has made such a big difference in the bumps on my arms. And it is the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser with 10% AHA. I'm just very grateful for First Aid Beauty for releasing this product because it has truly made such a big difference in the condition of my arms. My arms are pretty much completely smooth now, which really, doesn't happen. So this is pretty much a very like fine scrub that also has 10% AHA. The combination of the two is just magic. You use this in the shower and it honestly makes a difference in the bumps or any other kind of textured area that you might have on your body. I know a lot of you guys did try this out based off of my recommendation from my fall favorites that I did and really loved it. So I wanted to of course recommend it again. Moisturizing products for the body. I have two here. One is, of course, a Lush moisturizer. I always talk about my Lush moisturizers. They're pretty much like the only body moisturizers that I use in my body. I just really love them because they're very gentle but also very moisturizing. I really love that Lush uses mostly natural ingredients. This one over here is the Dream Cream from Lush. I also really like Sympathy for the Skin. I find this one in particular to especially be really nice and calming, especially when my skin is kind of flaring up because of the weather. This moisturizer has oat milk, lavender, and chamomile, and it's supposed to ease and cool easily irritated skin, and that's why I love it for this time of year. The last moisturizing product that I wanted to mention is this guy. I've also mentioned this before. It is another Alper Oils product, and it's one of their bath oils, and this one in particular is in Peppermint Patty. I think a bath oil is such a genius idea because if you are particularly lazy with moisturizing your body, you can literally just sit in a bath and do absolutely nothing, have this bath oil in there. So when you leave the bath, you'll be fully moisturized and you'll be left with this nice kind of like oily residue on your skin, but like oily in the best way possible. Oily where you're moisturized, you know? Doing nothing with maximum results, that's what I love. Okay, let's talk about hair. I do have one hair product that I wanted to mention. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask. You guys know how much I love the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair line. I talk about it all the time. The mask in the little tub is like my favorite. I've gone through tubs and tubs and tubs of that. I use it pretty much in place of my conditioner because I find it to be so hydrating. Um, and this is pretty much that, but with honey in it to make it even more moisturizing. So I just love this. I feel like it makes my hair just look really nice and shiny and silky. And I really do feel like it makes a difference in the feeling and like the dryness of my hair. I feel like everything just looks a lot better. Granted, this little packaging, even though it's so cute, it's kind of annoying to squeeze out because you literally just have to squeeze the bear, which is just not the most practical, but I mean, also adorable. <laughs> I lied, I actually have one more product that I wanna talk about. It's a shampoo from a brand called The Hair Routine, and this is actually a Montreal based brand, which just makes me so happy. I love supporting local brands. This is a amazing, amazing shampoo. It's a balancing shampoo. I find in the winter time, I actually use a lot more product in my hair. So I tend to get a little bit more product buildup than I normally would in other seasons. So I find the shampoo is fantastic in really giving my hair a nice deep cleanse to get out all of that product, but it doesn't strip up my hair. It doesn't make it feel dry. It really just kind of does what it needs to do. 
There's also some really great ingredients in here. It's natural, non-toxic, cruelty-free, vegan, and it says no BS. It's just great. So that's kind of it for all of the beauty products. Now I wanna touch on some random stuff. First, I wanna talk about some fashion-y things. Now over the last few years, my style was very turtleneck-centric, and while I still love a good turtleneck and I wear them still all the time, I've been really embracing the very like baggy, oversized sweatshirt look. But it's not just the baggy sweatshirt. I style it in a very particular way, very inspired by Hailey Baldwin, I'm not gonna lie. So Hailey is really known for wearing very oversized clothing, but styling them in such a fashionable way. And I've always noticed that she'll dress up very casual, very baggy and oversized looks with a lot of jewelry. So I started doing that and I gotta say, I'm in love. So I wanted to demonstrate that today with my current outfit of choice. I'm wearing this sweatshirt, which is my favorite oversized sweatshirt that I have. It's in this really pretty stone color. And I also love the ruching on the sleeve. I feel like it gives just like a cool effect to the sleeve. I'm not really sure what the brand is actually but I'll list it down below. And then as you can see, I'm wearing quite a bit of gold jewelry. Normally I actually even wear more. I wear more stuff on my on my fingers, but I kind of went a little bit more subtle today for my rings. But my favorite is definitely these hoops. They're like these really chunky hoops. And then another kind of chunky hoop in my second piercing over here. I've got two necklaces, my astrology medallion, and then my little evil eye. And of course I layered on some rings. I'm also wearing my still nest and Jamie points of light ring over here, which I love, obviously. It's just such an easy, cozy, and warm look, but somehow it kind of looks a little bit chic. Some of you may disagree, but I actually really love it, especially when I pair it with like a low sleek bun, which Haley also does quite a bit, and some like sick sunglasses. These are a little bit crooked, actually, but come on. So that has definitely been my style of choice for the winter time. Um, I also wanted to mention some jackets. So this is the Super Puff from Aritzia. Ah, I like it so much that I actually got two colors, this really bright electric blue and also this very pretty kind of like wine burgundy color. I get so many compliments specifically on this shade too. Now Aritzia has these jackets in pretty much every single color you could possibly imagine. They also come in a couple different lengths. They have short ones, medium ones, long ones, and then really, really long ones. So there really is kind of something for everybody. I honestly did not expect that these would keep me very warm. I initially bought them to wear on like the lesser cold days or on days when I knew I would be inside most of the day, like if I was at a mall or something and I didn't want to wear a super heavy jacket because this is such a lightweight jacket. Like it weighs literally nothing. And every other winter jacket I've ever bought weighs like 50 pounds. They're so heavy and clunky, um, but they get the job done. They keep you warm. So just based off of my past experience, I didn't think that this would keep me very warm, but it does. Before having these, I would always kind of dread putting on my winter coat because I always found it kind of made my outfits look less cool or less fashionable or, or stylish. But with these jackets, I actually am almost excited to wear them because I almost feel like they more so add to my outfits than take away from them, you know? So that's actually all I wanted to talk about as far as fashion goes. The last thing that I want to talk about is going back to beauty products, I guess, and that is my perfume for the winter. This guy over here is my current favorite perfume. It's what I've been wearing on most days throughout this season. It is the Byretto Super Cedar Eau de Parfum. This is such a beautiful scent. I have it in this little, like, not sample size, but I got it in like a mini set and I'm truly dreading the day where I have to buy the full size because my Reto scents are like stupidly expensive and I can't be mad because I literally did this to myself. <laughs> this is a very seasonal scent. It's very warm and deep and rich. It has a very kind of cedary, musky undertone to it. I have no idea how to describe scents. I'll put a little descriptor right over here, but it's really just so gorgeous. And I think it's also a really balanced scent. It's not overly musky where it's like overwhelming. It still feels really nice and soft. All right, guys, we finally made it to the end of the video. My voice is so done right now. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Again, please let me know down below some of your winter essentials. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more from me and you want to join the fam. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.